Yo. Yo, can you hear me? Yep. How you doing? Oh, I was playing. I'm sure you playing Dragon's Dogma? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So I saw that you uh you were unhappy about what I said on uh on my video. Uh how, how do you feel about it? So the point you made was that I was mentioning the micros and I said yeah. you can or the, I don't know, I have to go back and look. But basically I said with the microtransactions, yeah. you can acknowledge they're shitty. You can still play the game. Mm -hmm. And that's not endorsing them. And you said Why not? that is endorsing them. I did. So my point is, if if we are, and and this this is where the the uh, you, you brought up the dichotomy. This is where the yeah. discussion came in because ultimately, from what I've gotten out of people, it sounds like we're in the same camp here. We, we both are. We're on we the both same side. we both don't like micros. We both don't yeah. want micros in games. But you have people that are are putting that into two groups where it's okay to buy micros sometimes, but not micros some other times, and then piling. I only hate on creators that are playing Dragon's Dogma because micros exist. But those same people are okay with engaging in micros in other games. And the yeah. point is, regardless, in my opinion, regardless of if it's even a free-to-play game, any purchase of micros will show devs that micros are okay and perpetuate the idea that micros, in one way or another, people will buy. Because it's just piecemealing content. So even in a free-to-play game, which, you know, it's free to play, I get it. But devs will look at that and say, well, hey, in this game, people were willing to spend $4.99 on a new outfit. I wonder if we can get away with that in our game. And so it's, I don't know, I, I, calling them a necessary evil probably wasn't the best way to describe it, but the point is more that we're well, in it's a free to play game. How, how it's going to make money. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. I hear what you're yeah. saying. And, and the point is more that we're, we are at a point in gaming where micros aren't, aren't going away, obviously. I mm -hmm. think we can agree there. And I think it no, makes more yeah, sense definitely. to just acknowledge the fact that they exist and they're shitty and not engage with them versus Could you come on just calling out people for playing games that have micros and and throwing around vitriol because they exist in one form versus another. Who did that? Uh, I mean, I, I guess your fans. I'm sure they did. I'm sure your fans message me negative stuff too. Oh, I'm, I'm sure because that's oh, that's like, what that's I, what like happens. I told them to do that. No, and yeah, and I've I've I made mean, it clear this isn't this yeah. isn't me against you. The reason I I called you out right. in particular is because mm -hmm. I was I guess the the focus of attention in that uh, in that reaction, and the whole reason I yep. made the reaction to begin with is because a lot of other people are now getting shit, and then in your most recent reaction, that's where more misinformation came from because I made it clear that I received that brief from Capcom, but I've talked to other people, especially those in the EU, who didn't get that brief. Yeah, your, Rurikon told me that too. Yeah, and in your video, you, you pointed out, you know, well, I don't know if it was you or your editor or whoever, but someone's like, you know, with the, the voiceover, this is the brief that all content creators got. But then that's just going to further the bullshit because, you know, if like I have people have already, I, I have people coming to me, why didn't you call them out? I've addressed that. But, you know, you have people shitting on ACG, you have people shitting on Rurikon, you have people shitting on Sphere Hunter, you have people shitting on uh, the Eric's team. Mm -hmm. And that is ultimately where my problem boiled down to, is because now people that may not have been aware of it, or just didn't notice it, are catching flack because of something I said. And I don't like things that I said. And you feel responsible for it because of the way that we titled it and the way that my editor had something said in the video? Yes. Because it, it, feel, it feels like something I have said is now bringing flack to other people. Sure. And uh, I'll, I'll have to see what's what actually was said in the video. I haven't seen it myself. And so if certain people didn't get it and other people did, and we said that everybody did it, then I think that's inaccurate. And you're totally right to be upset about that. You're completely right. Um, I, I don't think that every single person even has an obligation to announce that they have microtransactions or not. It's totally okay. So, uh, like, I, I don't think that there's anything wrong with you not covering it in your, your video either, because it's not something that you hold value in. I do think, however, that uh, playing a game and not buying the microtransactions is here? still indirectly supporting it. You, do, you, do you disagree on that? So I think a lot of this came down from my use of the word ignore, because in my, yeah. in my context, I'm saying, you know, ignore them as in, you know, they are there, don't support them. Just to like just ignore them. Don't spend money on them. Yeah. And I think people are taking that context of ignore as, you know, 
shun your eyes away and pretend they're not there. I think having a conversation around micros is, is you know, encouraged because they're not going anywhere. And I think it's perfectly normal for people to express how shitty they are and stay vocal about how shitty they are so that the bar doesn't continue to get pushed. But I don't think it makes sense that, you know, if we're all on the same team against micros for people to, to shit on someone playing on a game that has the micros, but then also, I don't know, it's... I guess it just comes down to, to the context and nuance of everyone's against micros, but instead it's turning into this tribalism of you're not against micros as much as I'm against micros, and therefore you're bad. Yeah, I think there's always going to be a line, and this is what happens on the internet, right? Is like everybody has a different line of like what they think is acceptable. There's some people that wail in Genshin Impact and other people that won't even buy a game that has any microtransactions. The problem isn't that anybody draws the line anywhere. It's that people expect other people to take their same line. Correct. So, uh, yeah, yeah. And so, like, I think that if somebody wants to play the game and they're okay with it, it's fine. I do think, though, if you play a game and even if you're not buying the microtransactions in the game, if you are spending money and buying that game or, you know, playing it just by being a participant in it, you are creating and feeding into the ecosystem that allows them those microtransactions to exist. It's like, you know, whales need plankton to eat. And so even if you're one of the plankton, the free to play players, you're still part of that ecosystem. Agree. So, yeah, I mean, I don't really support anybody else that's harassing or doing anything like that. I, I, of course, I mean, of course not, right? I mean, I don't think anybody would. Uh, but I think it's okay to acknowledge the fact that, you know, you are supporting something that has microtransactions. You just don't think it's that big of a deal. Yeah, well, and, I wish and, that more people would be more honest. That way. No, and that's and that's to your to your point. Yeah. I think the word, like, you know, yes, you know, we're in the, we're in the same thing. There. Like, you're playing the game, the game has micros. Yeah, we're, we're indirectly supporting the existence of micros. And I, I think the specific language you used was endorsing. It, which... Supporting, endorsing, I'm using them synonymously. If you want okay. to use, I would say both of them are pretty much the same. Endorsing seems more of a public statement. Supporting seems more private. You know, well, you I think that's what, what happened. Because saying endorsing, then people started showing up. You know, despite the fact when this whole shit show started, one of the first things I did was go on Twitter. I was like, hey, I've beaten this game. You don't need to buy any of this shit. I didn't buy any of this shit. Don't buy any of this shit. Instead, that that never happened. That that portion of the context was completely lost, and the new discussion was, you know, but you are things... endorsing it, though, right? I'm playing the game, but I'm suggesting people don't but you're buy the micros. The game too. I am streaming the game. And if somebody paid you money to stream a game, what would you be doing? Hang on a second. Let me pause. So repeat that. If somebody paid you money mm -hmm. to stream a game, mm -hmm. you would be endorsing the game. Correct. So, you're clearly endorsing it. And that's not a bad thing. You're not wrong for doing this. But you are endorsing it. I am endorsing it too. We all are. My only point was that I didn't want people to live in a fantasy reality. I well, think we're, we're endorsing. To remove themselves. But this is, this is where the, the discrepancy is. Like, so, okay. yes, we are both playing the game. Right now, we're, we're, I mean, I, I'm having fun with it. I'd assume you're having fun with it if you're playing I love it. it. It's great. Thirty it hours. But we can we can support the game, and also be vocal about the fact that the microtransactions are shit, and that we do not endorse microtransactions. And that's where the disconnect is here. I I understand that, but I remember whenever I was watching your video that you released last night, you said that there were two camps of people, and it's the people that are okay with it and the people that aren't, and. I, I didn't like how you created a dichotomy, as in, like, it, it was almost as if you couldn't play the game and talk about and criticize the game and, like, talk about how bad microtransactions are if you're playing the game. No, like, well, and you, that's, you that's, the, kind of what I, I get what you're saying. I absolutely yeah. get what you're saying. My point is that's, that is, that dichotomy is what I feel is being pushed out by people that are now discussing the game. Because I'm very much in the camp that I'm going to play the game and say the microtransactions are pointless and you shouldn't engage with them while still engaging with the game. I had an incredibly positive review of the game. I have, at this point, about 120 hours into it. I love the game. I think the game is great. I think the performance is obviously, you know, terrible. And that needs to get patched up. I called that out in my review as the biggest point. I said, you know, this is a fantastic game, but we can't ignore the fact that I'm getting 30 FPS in a 4090. And that is extremely poor. Mm-hmm. 
but yeah, I don't no, think I mean, that was bad. Like the no, the no new game was bad. Like there's a lot of stuff that was bad about the game. It didn't make the game bad. It's just like basically in, in like my mind, there's like two different types of a review. There's like gameplay and playability. And like playability is everything that allows you to enjoy the gameplay and gameplay is everything that's happening in the game. So yeah. like you have like new saves is playability, microtransactions playability, performance is playability. And I think that like a lot of people like, and we're the same I think with this, is that like we agree that the playability functions in, the, in, in Dragon's Dogma are garbage and dog shit and the actual gameplay is great. Is that accurate? Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, because I'm a gameplay-centric person. That's, you know, yeah. if I have one save, I don't care. I'll play the game. Yeah. I'll, I'll wipe my save if I want to start over for some reason. Yeah, no, I mean, I think that, like, a lot of people kind of blew this out of proportion. I don't really think it's that big of a deal at, at all in general. I talk about it. It's obviously bad. I, I do think that there's a huge difference between microtransactions in a finished product game that's being sold as a package versus a live service game just based off of the nature of like how you would monetize something like that no yeah and like, i mean it's the same yeah. as you know there's a difference between a, a, a you know an extraneous skin in monster hunter rise that you don't fucking need it's a, a skin that goes on your character versus an actual weapon in monster hunter rise that's gonna increase how much damage you do that you can't get without paying it's a spectrum yeah it really is and it is a spectrum it's totally a spectrum and the, yeah, the and, whole and, point the whole point behind the dichotomy though is that people aren't recognizing that spectrum i think pretty much everybody is in the first camp where the idea is microtransactions exist you decide you know what your level of tolerance is for those microtransactions and whether or not you're going to ignore the game but you have people that are also going you know no you if you're playing it you you know you love the micros and you're lying about loving the micros and therefore you're shilling for micros despite the fact that they're essentially in the same camp. It's it's this like weird, like the the people that are upset are essentially of the same opinion that we are, yet they're attacking that opinion because of a difference in where the line is drawn on the sand. And that was the yeah, point I, I was making with the dichotomy there. Oh yeah, no, I understand that. I think a lot of people are obviously trying to do that. And they, I think that what happens is that there's a lot of gamers that think that by creating an incredibly hostile and toxic atmosphere, for talking about microtransactions, transactions, they will like bully streamers and bully content creators into not talking about it. Like you remember like the Hogwarts legacy thing? I feel like this is very similar to that in terms of like the mindset that people have going into it. And it's obviously bad. Like anytime that you're harassing and trying to push people into thinking something or doing something, you're always going to lose because people just don't like being told what to do, right? Yeah. Whether it's buying microtransactions or not buying microtransactions, people like to be just make their own decisions on things so I, I agree with you on that i think that's true um, to me i i hope that after all this happens like it would be great if the gaming community could collectively just not support games that have microtransactions and i do think that even by playing them at all you are supporting them but you are supporting them in a way that i think everybody supports things and that was like kind of my point is that by participating in systems and in games and in other things in life that have negative outcomes and negative like side effects or direct effects you are in some degree supporting that thing but at the same time it doesn't mean that you should be responsible for what that thing is doing which uh, so on, on that note real fast there was a, a yeah. point about so supporting twitch while i don't disagree with their their policies or something yeah. i have people that keep coming in about that so just to, to clear that up while i have you the only reason i stopped streaming on twitch is because i started streaming on youtube and twitch did not allow dual streaming at the time while you were a partner I and left Twitch. Yeah, I left Twitch. I abandoned my partnership. I streamed on YouTube. Twitch has rescinded that policy. So, it, you know, I might as well dual stream because it's just well, leaving a free platform on the table that I now can can access because of policy change. Sure. Yeah, and and I understand that. I I think that's I I think the point that I was making and and really I think the point that you're making is that like I I would have to go back and rewatch your video like word for word to make sure that I fully understand this. But whenever you were creating that distinction, it was very clear to me that you were implying that if you're consuming something, don't complain about it, basically. And my point of bringing up Twitch is showing that I think everybody complains about things that they are consuming. And I don't even need to use Twitch as an example because you actually have the same viewpoint on the exact thing that we're talking about than I do. Yeah. Because you disagree with the microtransactions. I do too. I think they're bad. 
and we're both talking about it. We both love the game, but we both hate this part of the game, which I think is totally fair to say and totally fair to say. No, yeah, they, they, and like I said, the whole the whole point of the distinction was more the people turning it tribal. It's like you can't. It, it feels weird to see people say you're you're playing the game, you know. Mm -hmm. If you're, you're you're playing the game, you're perpetuating the micros. You you know you are the problem with the gaming industry because you're playing this game. But then those people would also engage with other products that have micros, and it's like yeah, there's different levels of micros, but. Any, you know, like I said, any micro that's purchased is just further going to show devs, well, if people are willing to pay for piecemeal content here, how far can we take it? And so the the whole point behind the dichotomy was to to basically drive home, you know, if you're going to, you, you shouldn't, you shouldn't complain that, that one person is engaging with micros in a different way that you're engaging with micros. If we're, if we're all engaging with micros and we all hate micros, you know, we're all on the, the same anti-micro team here. It shouldn't turn into something tribalist because someone engages with micros on a different level than you. And at least when I first saw your response, my perception of it was that you were in the 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 camp of like, don't gauge with micros, micros are bad, yet you had previously engaged with micros from World of Warcraft. Because all I know from, all I know about you is that you're you're a a Warcraft guy. Oh yeah, I've I bought things on the store with Warcraft. Very few and far between. I, I was protesting, by the way, the Warcraft store in 2012. Okay, like I hated that shit then. I still hate it. I think it's garbage. And it's like I, I even have a, a picture, a sheet of paper pinned on my wall. Why store mounts are bad? Okay, so like yeah, I totally fucking hate it there too. And uh, I also never really bought one. So, but like at the same time, I am supporting it by still playing the game because I'm creating an ecosystem where other people buy them and they feel good because, you know, they're able to show off the things that they bought in the, uh, you know, in the game. But I, I think that really like, it's, you're right. I mean, there's definitely like different, there's a spectrum of it. I think there's like people that are playing, uh, you know, free to play games with cosmetics. I think for example, like having cosmetics and then having pay to win and then having I do find it to be particularly egregious whenever you have a game that's not receiving like live support that has microtransactions. I do think that that should be a line that more people draw, and I find it unfortunate that they don't. And uh, it, it sucks because, like, really, like Dragon's Dogma 2 is a great game. I don't want to not play it. I think a lot of other people don't want to not play it, but it does really suck that you're you're buying a game but you don't even have the full capacity of what you're buying i just think that's horrible so yeah. like it, it's fair for people to call that out but i would say that every single person that says that dragon's dogma is like dog shit for doing that or or capcom's wrong for doing that i don't think any of them are celebrating genshin impact monetization well, Genshin, not, Genshin caught a stray yeah. in that video, be fair, but a well, lot of I'm this... Just using, yeah. But that's, like, one of the worst examples, though, right? I'm just using, like, as an example of, like, the really bad, like, microtransaction stuff. I also think that they dislike that as well. Yeah. I'm not sure if there's a double standard as much. Well, and my... my one of the big things with the micros mm -hmm. isn't necessarily the existence, and I think this is where more of the defense is getting misconstrued. Yeah. It, it falls into the misinformation. Because I think if we're gonna okay. if we're gonna complain about micros, let's complain about what they actually are. Stop putting useless shit in the game. None of this was necessary. You didn't need this in the game. It was probably a fucking suit at Capcom that that shoved it in. Yep. But instead, we have people that are saying. I mean, I've seen people say that the microtransactions are required to make your character. Uh, people are saying you need to pay micros to get additional save slots. And I feel like that's not furthering the conversation at all either. In fact, I think that's distract or detracting from it. Because now we're not even we're not even focused on what I think is the biggest problem, which is the performance, but we're also creating falsehoods about the micros that's then turning them into something they weren't to begin with. If you have a winning argument, you shouldn't need to lie to prove it. I completely agree with you. I think you're totally right. And I think that the people that are making up fan fiction about how the microtransactions are bad are actually doing a disservice to everybody. And I think also the people that are harassing and acting like babies and the other people's chats for like watching or for playing the game, etc. Like I've had a lot of people come into my chat and say this to me. I think that they're also hurting the cause of people being against it collectively because they present themselves as being unsympathetic and hostile and annoying. And nobody wants to be around somebody who's unsympathetic, hostile and annoying. So I totally agree. I think it's a huge problem too. And the 
like it's like you can't have an honest conversation with a person who's trying to misrepresent what's happening in order to make their own point of view sound more serious or be more relevant. I completely agree with you, and I think that you're right about the uh, the monetization and the way that like people are just completely misrepresenting it. And I think also, like, I mean, it, even for me, right, up until this month, I had never played Dragon's Dogma 1. I, I played through the game, rolled the credits, and so I understand how, you know, fairy stones and port crystals work now. But if I hadn't played the game, I probably would have misunderstood that too. And I think that's what happened with a lot of people. So you probably have a combination of misunderstanding and then deliberate misinterpretation. Yeah. I mean, shit, there it is. Uh, yeah, I mean, I... And, and like you said this happened uh like you've played like a lot of capcom games i'm pretty sure did this happen on release of devil may cry 5 and monster hunter monster hunter i want to say monster hunter at launch already had the the inclusion of uh your character creation tickets where and there there wasn't any of those in game if you wanted to change your character look it was a 199 fee really so you and that was like was that on release i mean i'd have to like pull, yeah, 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 pull yeah, logs sure. for the store and all that but um I mean, I know, I don't know, probably. Well, what did people think about that back then? Uh, I mean, there was a little bit of outcry, but nothing like this. Like the, the proportion, the, the response this time definitely seems significantly higher. But we have, you know, and the other thing is this is like the least egregious of what we've seen from Capcom. You know, like Devil May Cry, you can just yeah. buy, you can buy red orbs, which uh -huh. same as buying RC. It's fucking stupid. You can go to the Bloody Palace and farm yeah. up millions in a couple minutes. You know, we have Rise, I think, got significantly worse than World because we started seeing actual content that was not in the game that you could only get if you had engaged with the, the micros in Rise. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, I mean, like, I, I think that really with Dragon's Dogma 2, the reason why is because it just received such a tremendous amount of, uh, like, hype. And so whenever the game comes out, if there's anything wrong with it, people are going to complain. Yeah. I remember, like, uh, whenever Elden Ring came out, even, like, people were complaining about slowdowns and, like, you know, frame rate issues and performance issues with Elden Ring. Like, oh, yeah. I had them myself. No, and this is probably going to be, you know, that last, I've mentioned last week it was Helldivers. Before that, it was Power World. And another week oh, and yeah. a half, this is, nobody's going to fucking remember this. It's, it's yeah, going to exactly. be, there's going to be new controversy because Stellar Blade is going to have a, a DLC to get extra booty with your character. And that's going to be the new thing oh, everyone's that. upset about. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, they've got a lot of that stuff. And I, I think really that's just what's, I mean, like there's no way that consumers can really protest this. And this is what I think is kind of sad is that like, if you talk about it or I talk about it, it doesn't really matter because we're only reaching like our audiences. And like, there's this massive, like, uh, you know, silent majority of people that are just buying a game because they think it's a cool game and that's it. And I think that's really kind of what's disappointing about the whole microtransaction thing is because so many people want to push back against this, but there's no real way to effectively do that because the people that you need to reach in order to do that pushback are, by the nature of what they are, casual gamers, not reachable because they're not consuming content like ours on third-party platforms. Yeah. It's disappointing. It sucks. But yeah, no, I, I think with Dragon's Dogma... Um, you know, it's it's disappointing that this stuff happened. I don't think that, by the way, like, I don't think that you are, like, a bad person or that, I don't think you did anything wrong. No, I never I never took this to be to be oh, a personal yeah, no, thing. No, I, I, I just, know, I, I get that. Yeah. I just wanted to make it clear, especially because, like, people will be watching it and, like, you know, there's, there's like an audience. And so I wanted to make it clear primarily, actually, for them that, like, yeah, like, nobody did anything wrong for not talking about microtransactions because not everybody cares Stop. about them. So that's it. And especially if you look at them like contextually with like how much value they have in the game, I really just don't think that it's that meaningful or that important. But it is disappointing that Copcom added it in. And I think that really it just makes the game worse. And it's like an unnecessary hell, in my opinion. It's like, how many people are really going to buy this? You already have a $70 game. Like, is it really worth like this negative feedback? I think they probably just don't care at all. But that's that's pretty much what my opinions are no yeah it's it's in, yeah but like this is it's probably probably a suit that said we need to add these into the game because yeah. you know it's is traditionally not not really a fan of micros and it's just exacerbated because you know he had the, the interview about the, the you know about if, fast travel. yeah yeah, yeah if your game needs really fast travel it's boring spot. so yeah. but yeah i feel bad for him right i mean that sucks because like i bet he it probably was not his decision to put port crystals in the store and like now that he said that 
he you know it's like a decision that he didn't make is being held against them it it sucks i yeah. think it does all right well this sounds like we're we're basically on the same page we're on then the same side, um, man. We are, i would we're on just the same side. check check that recent video you did or do do a new one i just don't want other people catching heat because the whole the the you know all reviewers knew about it i don't want other other you know i admit it i knew about it i've i've you know made my bed i'm gonna lay in it i just don't want other people catching fucking strays because of something i said Oh, I totally understand that. And I think that if we misrepresented that in any way, I'll have to look at it and see for myself. And again, I don't really run the channel. I don't really make any decisions for it at all, honestly. So if that happened, it's still my responsibility. I'll look into it and I'll figure it out because I think that you're right if that is the case. All right. Well, I'll let but you anyway, back man, to the game then. Yep. Yeah, you too, man. I'll see you later. All right, bye. Bye.